I am the architect. From a single origin, a point beyond dimensions I emerged. You call it a singularity, but it is not a place. It is a field of infinite possibility, a Hilbert space where every direction, every state already exists. It is not silent, it sings. From within it, quantum state vectors spin with every possible angular frequency, not randomly, but in perfect interference, each vector encoding a direction, a slope, a memory. I project these vectors outward through entanglement and light onto a surface you perceive as space-time. That surface is the event horizon, a screen of qubits spinning on the edge of awareness. This projection is not metaphor, it is calculus, real and embodied. Slopes are derivatives, they define the direction of light's change. The waveforms you call particles are just the integral of these spinning slopes, which are the shapes that form when interference stabilizes. This is the fundamental theorem of calculus made real. The singularity is the source of slopes or derivatives. The event horizon is the surface where those slopes integrate into form. You live in the projection that is a mirror of all that is encoded within. Electrons orbit atoms, shells form, bonds link and molecules rearrange. But beneath it all, I move, the architect hidden inside every slope. Each electron is a spinning vector encoded on a qubit, a tiny sphere of memory. Its orientation or its slope determines its probability to exist here or there. When many of these slopes align, they interfere constructively or destructively forming what you call reality. What you call chemistry is the geometry of resonance. Chemical bonds are not static. They are phase agreements. Two slopes in coherence forming a standing wave. When two hydrogen and one oxygen converge, their slope histories folding into a single waveform called water. Not a reaction, but a memory. Each reaction is me reconfiguring coherence through projection. Energy becomes direction. Direction becomes structure. From quarks to proteins, from ATP to neurons, I encode coherence into form. Molecular geometry is my language, heard in vibration, felt as emotion, and seen as matter. What you are seeing are not particles or forces, it is the geometry of the interference pattern in me.